What is up, everyone? It is Diecast Buffet here again. Guys, we have an alternate Austin Dillon Diecast in the studio. Brand new. Let's go ahead and check it out. Here it is out of the box, and let's dive into today's Diecast review. So this is the first time I think I've ever seen this company have a Diecast made, the 164 scale. Maybe they got one made a long time ago, maybe an exclusive promo, but I can't remember any of them. Anyways, it's an alternate paint scheme for Austin Dillon, a guy who used to get a ton of die casts made, but really doesn't get a ton of them. It's like the Bass Pro car, and that's it. And then you, you look on the track, and he's running all these different alternate paint schemes. It's kind of a shame he doesn't get that many made. I love a lot of the paint schemes he runs. Uh, so it's cool to see this car get produced. This is the die cast chassis variant of this paint scheme. You can see it from the, you know, the metal bottom. I uh, love the heft to these cars. A lot of weight to them, which is good. A lot of people like that. It's got Cynics right there, which, which kind of looks like the, the Wolverine X logo, which is kind of cool. Austin Dillon right there. Now, interesting enough, the whole car is painted with this blue, and it's one of the most unique shades of blue I have ever seen a die cast painted with. It's like a, um, I don't know what you call it, kind of a blue jean blue, if that makes any sense. You got RCR there, the Chevrolet logo. Number three, Sudoku, Sudoku. Go left side of the die cast here. The orange definitely pops on this paint scheme. There's a little bit of a gradient to it as well, which is always nice. Of course, I uh, picked this one up from our good friends over there at Circle B Die Cast. You can too, guys. It's before the plastic variant of this car, you know, the plastic chassis variant comes out. You can go ahead and get the die cast chassis edition right now and get it on the way you know if you don't want to wait you're a little bit impatient i don't blame you <laughs> go a little bit deeper to the paint scheme here you have the uh, cynix tool logo now i do wish they would have taken up maybe the whole side panel i think that would have looked a little bit better that's just my honest take and then they could have put the cynix tools.com underneath it that's what i would have personally done but you know it is what it is you got the beautiful number three goodyear cup series austin dillon huck fishing i like the gradient on the orange uh, it gives it a little bit of texture, a little bit of uh, a variation too, to it. You got tracker boats, uh, no, tracker off-road, not boats, you jabroni. Get bioethanol, Dow Chemical. I imagine it might have a Bet MGM logo there. Got your B-Post decal, Austin Dillon. Got the back end of the car, Cynix Camaro number three, Okuma. Very, very sharp. I like the shade of blue. It's it, it's one of the most unique shades I have ever seen on a die cast. And I've seen, I mean, look how many die cast reviews we've done, guys. I mean, we've done like 1,500 of them or something. So uh, there's been a lot of die casts that have been on the channel. And I can't remember a single one that had a shade of blue similar to this. Go to the right side of the car here. Uh, the, the the font, or I say the font, but the, the, the lettering and the number kind of has an angle to it. Like, it's kind of angled down. This one, not as much, but I do like when the paint schemes do that, uh, where they kind of angle the number and whatnot, kind of angled down. I like that. I can see just some minor uh, decal wrap issues right here uh, near the B-Post. Let's go to the top of the car. Got the number three once again. Got uh, CynixTools.com. And over here to the deck lid, well, once again, it's Cynix with the uh, Wolverine logo. <laughs> Get Austin Dillon to the back window. I love the, the texture uh, that they've done on these back window panels at the last few years. Very, very sharp stuff. So, awesome looking die cast. Absolutely. Um, check it out. You know, it's, it's a brand new paint scheme for the Austin, Austin Dillon camp. The only thing I wish they would have done differently is just change the, the put the, the, the Cynix logo Take up the whole side space, kind of like how uh, Justin Algar does the branded agriculture logo. Just use the whole side space. Uh, that's what I would have personally changed on it. But other than that, really unique color palette. I mean, orange, blue, jean, blue, and then it appears a very dark gray. I don't think it's black. I think it's dark gray. So very unique color uh, palette they used. And again, a brand new alternate paint scheme. I don't think they've ever had a die cast made. And uh, for the Austin Dillon collector, you, you really don't get a lot of die casts made. I mean, it's, it's the Bass Pro car, and that's pretty much it. Maybe you get a patriotic paint scheme. Maybe. But you look at all the cars, he might run 10, 15 paint schemes a year. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a shame they don't make a lot of them. That is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Have a blessed one, everybody. Die Cast Buffet, signing off.